pitch. This is particularly good, two points, given how hard it was to get shots for most of the night? Well, it was hard to get shots, but you have to have the mindset that you want to shoot it. Uh, that's, that's part of it. We got, you know, um, yeah, you know, it, was a, it was a hard fought two points. I mean, you look at the the three games this week, Calgary is probably one of the hottest teams in the league. I think they were 7-1-1 one one coming in. And, and Detroit, I was think it was, it was on top of their game, brought their game, and so did St. Louis. And they're, they've been outstanding since uh, the hitch took over. So um, it really was a test to see where we were and, and our team, because uh, yeah, I don't think you're going to come across, uh, you know, especially the last two games, two, two better teams in the, the way they're playing right now. So to get the points against them is, is huge. And they found a way. I, you know, we'd, I probably would say we didn't have our A game, but, you know, they forced us, uh, you know, out of our A, a game uh, tonight a little bit. Um, disappointment, we didn't get a lot of shots in the first because we didn't, you know, don't want to direct the puck there. You know, you can't play east-west against a team that, that, that checks as well as they they were checking tonight. They had a lot of, uh, their gap control was really strong. They, they had a lot of backside pressure. So. Uh, the the east, east West game was not there, so um, you know we wanted to play an East West game, and they weren't allowing you to do that, so you weren't going to get any shots. But you know they direct a lot of shots from the outside. I you know, give us a lot of credit. We 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 kept a lot of that stuff to the outside, and they got some chances. And when they did get some chances, I thought Pex was was really good. And, uh, we just we battled real hard. So you know sometimes you you look at all the, the shots, and uh, or rather look at the chances. You know they had chances. Uh, uh, tonight, but they're, it's not as wide as the, the margin of shots. Um, not a lot of experience for you guys in the shootout this year. What went into your decisions in terms of who to shoot? Um, well, we actually, uh, we just had the feeling it was going to happen the next couple of games. Uh, we hadn't practiced it a lot, and um, we last few days, actually, all this week, we sort of, every practice, we did a little bit of that. And, um, and then just the, the selection was based on, on I'm looking at dissecting Halleck a little bit and the guy with some of the guy's signature moves, I guess. And, and uh, that was the, those were the decision to go in with those guys. Did you say Leggy used his signature move there pretty much? You know, I, 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 I didn't really look at it. I didn't watch the shoot up. I'm looking up in the stands. I, that's just a pet peeve of mine. I, 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 I turn my back on what's happening and the crowd will let me know what's uh, going on. I'll have to, if you, if you say it was his signature, I'll believe you because I didn't watch it. What happened on the, the line change? That the well, the, the, we mismanaged that, 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 that game. On the line change, next line's up. You watch your guy come to the bench. Well, the guy jumped on the other. His guy was in the corner with the puck and wasn't paying attention. And it put us uh, uh, at a disadvantage. And, uh, you know, we had a bad line change on the, on the uh, PK. So uh, from my standpoint, I just, uh, as I said to the guys, I, was, I wasn't too happy after the game. Is that we met, there was a chance, you know, Two points. We got the two points tonight, but there, there was a very good chance that we could end up with no points based on how we mismanaged a the line change uh, on the PK and a the two many men on the ice, and that's that's unacceptable from my standpoint. Uh, we just mismanage it as a group because you've got to pay attention where your guy is and who's up, and and uh, a couple guys weren't as sharp as they needed to be, and and uh, when you're tired, you just can't. You can't just leave if you, if you didn't uh, get the puck deep on the, on the PK. So that, those are learning experiences, and, uh, and we'll go from there. So, uh, but we, we found a way to get the two points, and that's the, that's the bottom line. The importance of getting these two points, considering how compacted the schedule gets before the Christmas break. Well, I think it was it's huge. A, a couple of reasons: a, we get to to see the best of, the best in the West. I think right now in, in, in Detroit and and. Um, and St. Louis and, and Calgary is playing very well. But at the same time, um, we get to mark our game, but get that home ice advantage, that home ice feeling that we we hadn't established yet. And, you know, this gave us a chance to sort of establish that and, and know that it's just going to be a tough place to come in and, and, and play. And uh, again, tonight, uh, we found a way to win, you know, uh, on that play, you know, the, uh, the goal after the kill the penalty, you know, Marty Urat's goal. I mean, a really good poise by Fisher and, and Marty. You know they were tired and pretty well exhausted, but they kept it alive. And you know Webb stepped up, and you know and the game was on the line. He, they got it over, and he made a real great play over to, to Marty for a tap, and that was huge. So uh, and at the end, your your big guys were good. You know uh, Webb's and, 
and Seuss I thought were really strong tonight and, and Pecker in the net and you know, the game's on the line those guys uh, usually their guys are stepping up. How, uh, how much of the goal was threat of Weber's shot sort of factor? I mean a lot really What's this? on your goal. Threat just the threat of Weber's oh, shot. Yeah, a lot yeah. really Absolutely, you know, you're thinking he's walking in, you know, the uh, you know, the goaltender's thinking, I better get get out. Um, and, and take the angle down, and, and uh, you know the defenseman's probably you know thinking that I got to go block that, and uh, you know he just got his he got his eyes up and made a real good play. So you know uh, you know there's a lot of dis not deception, but there's a lot of threat when you know that shot's coming and can open up some lanes. Frustrating to see them get six power plays and y'all yeah, get nine. Yeah, you know I, I thought there was a lot of uh, clutch and grabbing on their part, a lot of stick work, and and I thought surely. You know, they're not you know, Snow White uh, in terms of the way they play, so surely we'd get a power play today, but obviously the, the referees didn't see that uh, our way, but, uh, you know, the PK stepped up, you know, five out of six, uh, they did a good job, and they you know, had a good chance to be six for six if we wouldn't have that bad line change. So uh, the only disappointment is uh, now is that we gave them a point that they, they, they you know, if they scored, get an earn it to, uh, the right way, then you know they probably wouldn't be as mad. But uh, I, I, I thought we mismanaged the point tonight. But you know we gained the ground on everybody else, but St. Louis I guess, uh, a, a whole lot. You know you get the meaningless charge of penalty with no time left in overtime, so you guys officially go 0 for 1 in the power play. But what does it do to your game plan not having a single power play in a game? Well, there's a, you, you can't game plan the same year and get six power plays. You just when you get the opportunity to go on the power play. You, you, Got a, you know, just you know, we were hoping we get one, and that might be the difference. So, um, it, yeah, there's no game plan for the power player penalty kill. I know there's a game plan when you're, you stay out of the penalty box, and they didn't do a good enough job. We took six tonight, so um, you know, the referees got a tough job. I'm not going to gripe about them, uh, you know, but you know, surely we get one. I'm bad, with, I guess. With how uh, tight the game was, how, how important was that that goal line save by Hillman there late in the second? Yeah, I, I think it was pretty huge, um, just because of the fact that you know they were, we had a little push on. I think the shots were a little more even, like eleven to fifteen in the second, and, and you know they get that first goal. The first goal is so so important, you know. And it, you know you, to win the game, you got to get two. You know, we had to get our second in the shootout. So um, that, I think it was real huge. Five wins in a row, all by one goal. Uh, how, what does that say about your team? Well, we're getting comfortable playing those one goal games, which is more of our DNA. Um, you know, I'd like to give uh, Pex and, and Summit some breathing room one night, but uh, uh, you know, that uh, hasn't been the case. So, you know, if it, it, we just, it's sort of like the game. It, you can't say, hey, we're going to play this way and be successful. Sometimes the game makes you play a certain way to be successful. And I was saying tonight, you have to play a north south game against the. Uh, Against the Blues, you have to be heavy on the puck offensively and defensively. They have this real quick support with their second guy that your your second guy has to get there and, and before their second guy, or they, they have puck possession and, and they did a real good job of it. And we'll, you know, we'll, we'll we'll have to do a better job next time we see them. Last week you said you didn't really expect to get on a run to win five or six games, and now you have. Well, yeah, you don't expect it because there's that's parity in the league. You know, uh, every game is like a playoff game and. And you have to be focused and prepared. And if you're not, you can get blown out. Uh, you know, and that's why I think, as I talked, I think it was last week, is that that's why you see some of those teams in the league. One night, you know, you're, you know, you're a three-two against a team, and the next night you play them, and it was eight-one. You know, that's just that's the National Hockey League right now, which is great for the fans. It's great for, you know, it's great for entertainment value, um, and it's real tough on the on the heart. I'll tell you that. And, and the nerves every night. Okay. All right. Thank you.